Hey guys, Nartox Um, I'm doing this update video for the how to Poke Gen and Omega Ray of Sapphire because now you can also do it in X and Y as well with SD card method. Also, because apparently in the old video, people said they can barely hear me, so I'm updating it to make it better. But also, the update there's a new update out for 3DS right now and 3DS XLs to make it 9.5 your system version. I have tested it out, and this Pokey Hex method. Ginning method with SD card will still work with 9.5 as long as it's. I don't know if it'll work with 9.6 whenever that comes out, but as long as you have as long as you have 9.1 through 9.5 on your system. It should work because it works on my other 3DS, which I updated, and it works just fine. <clears throat> this is going to be a com combination video. This is the recording part, which I'm going to show you all how to make the Pokemon and everything, how to make it work. And I'll have all the download links in the description again. And then the other part is going to be on the DS where it shows you all how I got the Pokemon. But first, um, this is a, I'm going to show you this demonstration real fast, what it's going to look like when you actually make it. Okay, when you first do it, you will copy the code.bin file to your 3DS, which is this is my 3DS SD card. You don't put it in any folder, you just put it right there on the when it pops open, and then you put the Pokemon.ekx file that you made in there. Now, if you do it right and everything and the Pokemon shows up, you'll get this injection debug.bin file. All you have to do to redo another code is that you just delete those three and then you have to start all over. If you don't delete it, any of those files, you're just gonna get bad eggs. Also, uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a random Pokemon. Just purely random, and I'll show you how to save it without it messing up. So let's just make. Let's make a Mewtwo, the a shiny one, and have a modest nature. Let's have it as the Mega X version of it, and then you know you can make it the H H stiffest. I don't know why. And then you just type in your region, like I'm in the United States, and then the subregion, which is like your state, which is mine. For me, is Texas. Then your region of your DS, which mine is American. I think that's kind of racist right there. How it says Americans. I mean, it's America. It's not Americans. I guess because it says North America and South America. That's the reason why it probably says that. Now the level, which is 100. And then the held item. I'll make it hold Mewtwo and Night Y. Okay. Now for my game, which is on my Ruby location, you can do whatever you want. I just mainly do a route. Just any route is fine. And then let's put my dust ball level mid. You can put it to level 100, level 50 doesn't matter. Then you change your date, which I'm gonna have as today's date, which is February the second. And then. I don't have to click on Faithful Encounter, you can do that if you want to, and then IVs, which I want to just max out his IVs real fast. And it's random. Okay, now see when the OT and stuff pops up here. Now see, I have my OT and stuff saved for certain things on here. But it won't always work. The only reason why I'm able to get mine is because I used a different bin file, which I'll try to make a link for that too, for y'all to work better with it. But I don't know if I can end it or not because I found it on a different site that you some dude used the cyber gadget to make it work, which made mine stuff showed up. But all you have to do is that when you make the OT. Put your OT and then late lattice, sorry, the the handler, not the OT handler, but just put it as your OT, the one you picked too. 
Then you put any ribbons, whatever you want. I'm just going to give it all just because I can. Also, you see how it says shiny, but the thing's not marked shiny. Uh, I'm going to mark all the things because it's six IVs. The way to do it shiny is you have to click on that again to make it shiny again. It like undoes itself sometimes, and then let's just make it know Psycho Boost. Let's make it know Hyperspace Fury. Psycho Boost, Hyperspace Fury. A war sphere and let's just joke around here and just make it new uh, make it new so you know a thousand arrows just to joke around and then you can also max out its PP to make it the max. And then if you're going to make a legit Pokemon like this, I'm not really caring about. But if you make it, want to make it legit to where it will trade, this option is where you learn moves. Just put the moves that you put right here, right here. And I'll just do a demonstration just, just to show you all. This Pokemon won't be tradable, so, but I'm just showing you all. Just put the moves on there that you made it learn if it's Pokemon that you legitly want and you can't get any other way you know let's go over it again Mewtwo level 100 Moth Nature Mewtwo Night Y so make it x version version sorry stiff ass ability English um, if it's an egg I don't know if it actually hatch or not uh, let's just make it cured a poker us The met date is Route 109, you know, today's day is when it was met, 6 IVs, the moves, everything right there, secure the poker rest and everything. Okay, now when you save the file, when you click save as, it'll pop up like this to say PK hex, or PK6, or PK M file, PK X file. And when you click on save as file, tab, click all files, and then rename the file Pokemon dot ekx I will show you what would happen if you just save it as a regular file all files and then just save it like that if you save it as this even if you do type it in as ekx yeah since so I already have the file saved I'm gonna have to just put this one as a one this is just demonstration what happens if you just save it as that Okay, now that I got the Pokemon made, um, okay, look what it says. For the file, it says Pokemon, which is the, the other version for me, it says Pokemon1.ekx.pk6. See, if you save it as a PK6 file, instead of going to all file types and then making it a .ek, .ekx file, what happens is when you do this and you put it in your SD card slot, like I'll show you, drag it over here, and then you have the code.bin file. Once you load it up your DS and everything, instead of getting the Pokemon you want, you'll get a bad egg, which could corrupt your game, and it'd be a pain in the ass. So what you do is just say so you just want to drag over your PK hex, the Pokemon file you made, and then I have a folder especially made for my PK hex, which I had to rename it something weird because it wouldn't work. Then your code bin file, you just copy it, and then you just paste it right here. And then there you go. See, I have some Pokemon right here that I already made. but And then I can just copy them and then paste it on the home screen and then rename it Pokemon.ekx and then it'll work. Uh, but if you want to make PK Hex unlocked, which allows you to uh, make it any nature you want, uh, rename the file PK Hex. Like it's PK, capital PKH, and then A, lowercase A, and then a capital X, and then just save it. It, what it does it turn and that's weird but it makes it on offline mode and with all offline he says illegal mode activated please behave it's kind of funny with that part 
Oh, watch. I'll show you. Let's just get the Mewtwo again, even though we already know. Mewtwo. Okay, a little shiny. Next form now. See, ability. Okay, look. I can make it any ability I want. Let's say Wonder Guard. There we go. Wonder Guard Mewtwo. So when you download PKX, you can copy the file and then rename that one PK Hack. So you can do that if you wanted to. But what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to get off the recording over here. And then I'm going to do my DS part. And then you'll see. Hey guys, this is part two of the video. Uh, this is going to be all combined together anyways, but... What you do now is that when you go to your game, all you have to do is just pretty much what I did in the first part. I'm trying to make it so you'll understand me more in this. Just because, like I said earlier, people were complaining that it didn't work right. Okay, organized boxes. Okay, you know that. And see, look, like, nothing in box one. You can just like push the. You have to push the home button, like right here. And you can keep it right there if you want to. Then what you want to do is that you go to your internet browser. And people that don't know, I already have a signal in my bookmark, but I'm gonna type it anyway, just so y'all know. You type in load code dot project pokemon dot org and you can also save this too like I already have it saved in the bookmarks and once you do when you load the code it'll say fail to go load part and then the it'll either show a black thing down here or it'll just cut off completely like this and it says an error has occurred. Please save your data and any software currently using the system. You don't really have to save anything. And then when I go back, and there's the Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo X holding a Mewtwo Knight Y. Hyperspace Fury. Psychopus Wars here. A thousand errors. And then there's every ribbon. And it's even caught today's date, which is the second. <laughs> but watch, I'm even going to take it out and show you all in battle. So pretty much I have a little bit more fun, too, than you can see it. a Mewtwo X Mega Evolve. Which I also have another video I'll be uploading soon, too, of a Mega Charizard X Mega Evolving into Mega Charizard Y. I don't know if I can battle anybody around here. I don't have a Pokemon with Surf, so I can't really Surf. And here's a random battle. Which is a Magikarp. And here's the Mewtwo. Now, sometimes when you do this, um, when I did it to my, for my girlfriend for her Mega Diancy in New Hyper Space Fury, and it wouldn't, the move wouldn't do nothing, should have clicked on that move instead because for some reason it couldn't teach it and it Mega Evolved and Mega Me Too wide now. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get another battle real fast just to show y'all. Uh, there's supposed to be somebody around here that. I guess I can battle. Alright, I don't know if you can battle this person. Okay, I can battle this dude. I guess he does a poison attack, is what he's talking about.
This happens when I try to use Hyperspace Fury. See, some po certain posts can't use Hyperspace Fury, but Hyperspace Hole, it can do. But let's see if it works with Fury. See, it says you can't use that move. So, that means if you want to make a Pokemon in Hyperspace Fury, you can't. You have to make it in Hyperspace Hole for it to actually work. But, like, the, all the other moves it will work with. So that's just a heads up for y'all. This is Nartex Bleach 1, 2, Sunny Up. 